Got a question for the, uh, the JW world out there, right? I'm on the East Coast, and on the East Coast, there was just some email that I saw or some news flash or whatever saying that um, they're going to lift, uh, I guess, certain restrictions uh, indoors, outdoors, uh, with the people that have been vaccinated not to wear their mask anymore, right? In most places, in most situations. What does that do for your organization? Right? Right about now, I, sh I still should see people, you know, starting to spill out into the streets little by little. Right? I still should see people maybe starting to knock on doors. Like, you, you guys are waiting for the word. You guys are waiting for your superiors to give you the okay, the green light. Like, I, I, I don't understand how that go. First off, you never should have stopped. You, you really never should have stopped in the first place. A pandemic? Go and talk to the people uh, in the Bible, right? Go and talk to the people in the Bible and say, we stopped our preaching work of spreading the good news because there was a pandemic. And not only that, the government said to stop. They said to stop. Just because people are dying, the government body, right, said no more preaching. This is when you're supposed to step it up. This is when you're supposed to show your faith in God and Jehovah, right? Yeah, we still going to go. People need it more than ever now. I would have, you would have stumped me, as a matter of fact. You would have stumped me. You would have got me if you, if, you, if I would have still seen y'all out in the streets, Right? If I still would have seen you in the parks and, and your uh, little carts or whatever, and you said, nah, we don't care what the government's saying. You was on a bullhorn. We do not care what the government say. This is what the Bible says. And this is what our God Jehovah says. We will preach the good news. No, you ain't do that. You laid down. That's what you did. You said, come on, guys, we're going to lay down. So when do you stand up? That's the question. When do you stand up for Jehovah? When do you get Jehovah's back? Not to say that God needs your back. But when do you say, we're doing this for our God? You're saying got nothing to do with y'all. Right? God told us to preach the good news. And God never said, but you have to stop. If governments say you have to stop, you have to stop if there's a pandemic. You have to stop if it rains rains too hard. No, it didn't stop, right? There was catastrophes all throughout the Bible, right? There was nobody that stopped preaching the good news. It was people that was dying. You feel me? God didn't say to stop, but you listen to the government. Said everybody got to stay in. You would have got me stumped. You really would. I would have. I would have had to regroup and said, "Wait a minute. They threw me for a loop right here." You know what I mean? Because they're really standing strong, and they're really, you know, doing what they have to do, even in the light of facing death. You feel me? Because these kids that didn't take blood and died on a cold hospital table. They did it. They did it. What's the difference? What's the difference between a flu-like pandemic that no doubtedly caused a lot of death? But when do you really step up and show out and show me what you're made of? I've never seen it. I haven't seen it so far. This is the only true religion of God. God's only earthly organization, but you have never showed me such. You have never showed me that. You have never went out with your guns blazing, right? Through, you know, uh, segregation, through, you know, uh, certain things that happen in the world, politics. When the going gets rough, you duck and you hide. And you say, no, we're peaceful. 
right? Because you know, it 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 when it's when it's conducive to your your uh you're staying safe, you staying out of harm's way, then it's then it's you know, the, we're we're peaceful uh 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 people. You know, the meek shall inherit the earth, you know? Uh people in the Bible wasn't wasn't all that meek sometimes. You had David out there throwing rocks and stones into the forehead of of giants. You understand me? Right? You had Sam, Samson, you know, uh, 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 fighting lions, right? We don't have to go through the many stories, but when do you show up and show out? When? You never do. Why aren't you out in the streets? Some of y'all got vaccinated, right? I'm sure of it. A lot of you. Why are you waiting for uh, the go-ahead, the green light from the governing body? Why aren't you doing this for Jehovah? Why aren't you going door to door for the Jehovah, right? Why aren't you going out into parks if you don't want to go door, door to door? Why aren't you standing on tables at parks? I went to Washington Square Park. It was packed last weekend. It was a beautiful day. I saw not one Jehovah Witness out there preaching. I saw people juggling. I saw people dancing. I saw people doing card tricks and playing chess. I saw skateboarders. I saw people preaching other doctrine right but i didn't see one jehovah witness there expressing or proclaiming their truth not one what are you waiting for right this is between you and your god why are you waiting for the governing body to tell you when to start going when to start preaching when to start moving why why do you have to wait on them right this is between you and Jehovah. 